All right, my loyal AI enthusiasts. After 30 years in the digital trenches, separating signal from noise in the ever-exploding world of AI, I've seen countless tools rise and fall. But what really captivates you, what truly delivers that aha moment, isn't just about what a tool can do, it's about what they don't tell you. Get ready to see AI truly for the first time. This isn't your average who's making the best chatbot video. This is about the top five AI company battles you can't miss this year. And trust me, some of these are unfolding in ways you'd never expect. We're going to uncover the real reasons behind the headlines, providing insights that will make you sound like an industry insider. For years, we've tracked the AI race, Google versus OpenAI, Microsoft's big bets, but... What if I told you the true battles, the ones that will shape the entire AI industry for the next decade, are far more nuanced, more cutthroat, and frankly, more fascinating than what the mainstream media feeds you. After 30 years dissecting tech trends, I can tell you, 2025 is the year of the AI company showdown. Not just about who has the biggest LLM, but who's winning the computer wars, the talent wars, the ethical high ground, and even the invisible infrastructure race. In the next 20 minutes, we're cracking open the top five AI company battles you cannot afford to miss. We're going to uncover the under the radar fight for AI chip dominance that's far more complex than just Nvidia versus everyone. The stealth war for enterprise AI adoption and why a dark horse might be pulling ahead. The shocking talent poaching crisis that's forcing companies into unprecedented moves. The silent but brutal battle for ethical AI leadership and what it truly means for their market power, and the unseen alliances and strategic divestments that are rewriting the rules of the AI ecosystem. Get ready for insights no one else is sharing. This is the deep dive into AI market dynamics you've been waiting for. First up, the battle for compute sovereignty. Everyone knows Nvidia dominates the AI chip market. They're H100s, H200s, and now the B200s are the gold standard, they've hit a staggering market value, positioning themselves as perhaps the most valuable company in history. But here's the untold story. The biggest tech players are tired of being beholden to one supplier. What you're seeing in 2025 is not just development of custom silicon, but aggressive internal deployment and even external offering of these chips. Google's TPUs, Amazon's Tranium and Inferentia, Microsoft's Maya and Cobalt. These aren't just research projects anymore. They are direct multi-billion dollar strategic initiatives to reduce reliance on Nvidia and control their own destiny in the AI infrastructure space. They hit in variable, interoperability, and ecosystem lock-in. Nvidia isn't just selling chips, they're selling an entire ecosystem with CUDA. The challengers are trying to build equally sticky ecosystems around their custom silicon incentivizing developers and partners. The win here isn't just about raw compute power, but about who can offer the most cost-effective, integrated, and developer-friendly stack that detaches you from NVIDIA's gravitational pull. Watch for smaller players like TenseTorrent, backed by AI legends, quietly making waves here. This isn't just a hardware fight, it's a software ecosystem war. Our second battle is happening squarely in the enterprise and it's the agentic AI orchestration arena. Forget simple chatbots. In 2025, the real value is in the AI agents that can chain multiple actions, make decisions, and automate complex workflows across an organization. Salesforce, with its Einstein co-pilot and deep CRM integration, is battling ServiceNow, which is leveraging its IT workflow mastery to expand into broader business process automation. What's fascinating is the silent battle for integration points. Salesforce wants to own the customer-facing AI layer, becoming the brain of all sales, marketing, and service operations. ServiceNow aims to be the operational AI brain, optimizing everything from HR to supply chains. Both are furiously acquiring smaller AI agent startups and integrating them into their platforms. The unknown factor? The hyperscalers, AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, are building their own agentic AI services at the foundational level. 
Will they become indispensable platforms that both Salesforce and ServiceNow have to build on top of? Or will these enterprise software giants build enough proprietary agent tech to remain independent? This is a battle for the operating system of the AI-driven enterprise. The winner will become the central nervous system for countless global businesses. This is the most profound and perhaps least understood battle, the ethical AI and trust gauntlet. On one side, you have Anthropic, founded by former OpenAI researchers with a core mission to build constitutional AI, models inherently designed to be helpful, harmless, and honest. On the other hand, OpenAI, the trailblazer, now scrambling to infuse more ethical guardrails while pushing the boundaries of raw capability with modules like GPT-5 and Sora. The mainstream narrative focuses on who has the smarter model, but the real war is for user and enterprise trust. The increasing regulatory scrutiny like the EU AI Act and stricter global data privacy laws makes ethical positioning a massive competitive advantage. Companies are actively seeking responsible AI solutions to avoid legal pitfalls and reputational damage. Here's the hidden strategy. Anthropic is betting that long-term enterprise adoption and consumer loyalty will hinge on proven safety and transparency. OpenAI is betting on groundbreaking capability and then retrofitting ethics. The secret to winning isn't just about avoiding hallucinations, but about building auditable AI and explainable AI, XAI, that companies can confidently deploy. This battle will define the AI industry standards for the next decade, impacting everything from autonomous vehicles to critical infrastructure. The winner will be seen as the ultimate trusted AI partner. Now, get ready for some drama. Our fourth battle is in the talent poaching and AGI race meltdown, specifically the escalating war between Meta and OpenAI. You might have seen whispers of OpenAI's mandatory week-long vacation due to intense poaching pressure from Meta, especially for its new superintelligence team. This isn't just about getting top engineers. This is a brutal fight for the very limited number of AGI, artificial general intelligence researchers. The people who can truly push the boundaries toward human-level AI. Meta is reportedly offering unprecedented compensation packages, including unheard of equity grants, to lure away top talent. OpenAI, on the other hand, is trying to create a culture so compelling, so mission-driven, that it retains its stars despite the insane offers. What's truly at stake is the institutional knowledge and research velocity. When a key researcher leaves, they don't just take their skills, they take years of undocumented insights, project context, and unique problem-solving approaches. The company that can stabilize its AI research teams and foster an environment where breakthroughs are consistent, even under immense pressure, will ultimately win the AGI race. This is the human capital crisis of the AI era, and it's far more impactful than any public model release. Our final showdown is a fascinating one, playing out in the automotive sector. Vertical integration versus open ecosystem. On one side, Tesla, the pioneer of fully integrated AI, from chip design, Dojo, to software, FSD, to manufacturing. They control the entire stack, aiming for end-to-end -end efficiency and innovation. On the other hand, you have a growing yet often unspoken automotive AI alliance. Thank traditional giants like GM, Ford, Mercedes, and VW, who are increasingly realizing they can't match Tesla's vertical integration on their own. Instead, they are forming strategic partnerships with AI pure plays like Waymo, Mobileye, Aurora, and even working with hyperscalers for cloud-based AI processing. They're pooling resources for shared data collection and standardized AI development kits. The unknown outcome? Will Tesla's single-minded, closed-loop approach lead to a superior, undeniable product that outpaces everyone? Or will the sheer collective power of the Alliance, with its diverse data sets, distributed R&D, and ability to leverage existing market share, create a more robust, adaptable, and ultimately dominant automotive AI platform? This battle isn't just about self-driving cars. It's a microcosm for the future of industry-wide AI adoption. Will it be dominated by singular, integrated behemoths or a collective open-source-leaning ecosystem? This is the platform play for AI's future. So 
what do these AI company battles tell us about the future of AI power in 2025? It's clear. The fight is no longer just about who has the best algorithm. It's about controlling the underlying infrastructure, compute sovereignty, owning the workflow, the operating system of the AI enterprise, agentic orchestration, building profound trust through ethical design, ethical AI, securing and nurturing the irreplaceable human talent, the AGI talent war, and dictating the future of industry-specific AI ecosystems, vertical versus open. The winners in these unseen skirmishes will be the true architects of our AI future, not just the loudest voices. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for anyone trying to navigate, invest in, or build within the AI economy. Which of these AI company battles do you think will have the biggest impact? Are there any other hidden conflicts you're tracking? Let me know in the comments below. I dive into your thoughts and they often inspire our next deep dive into the AI frontier. If you found this strategic breakdown invaluable, do me a huge favor. Like this video to help it reach more curious minds. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve to truly understand the forces shaping our technological future, then subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Our next video will tackle the shadowy AI lobbying wars. What tech giants don't want you to know. Remember, in the rapidly evolving world of AI, knowledge isn't just power, it's survival. Stay informed, stay curious, and keep questioning the surface narrative. This is the AI Evaluation Zone, your trusted guide to the real AI revolution. See you next time.